NVIDIA is going to be the big story for the day. That's going to support will be driving markets. Markets are going to battle with this very close kind of cluster of resistances, the 50-day and the 20-day sitting right on top of each other. Here's what you need to know before the bell this morning. We talked about on Tuesday, markets are due for a rally. We're very oversold here. And we were expect, you know, kind of expecting this rally to occur. So this morning, the markets are going to battle with this very close kind of cluster of resistance. It's the 50-day and the 20-day sitting right on top of each other. If markets can pierce through that, so we got to get above 4440 um, on the S&P 500. If we can get above 4440, on the S&P 500, that's going to be clear the way for a retest of the recent highs that we had back in July. Doesn't necessarily mean that the correction that we're in right now or this kind of period of seasonal weakness is over. But again, this, this rally that we're having that we've been talking about here is now coming into play. The MACD is getting ready to cross back into a buy signal. Uh, depending on the strength of the rally today, that could get us very close to triggering that buy signal on the S&P. Um, and again, we're not overbought yet. So uh, again, as, as we kind of take a look at where the market is, the market kind of loaded up for this rally. We got oversold on a relative strength basis. The MACD kind of completed a normal retracement of its normal oscillation during a bull market. So again, we're starting to see that turn back into a buy signal. That suggests that we should get a move here higher in prices, at least in the short term. Again, we still have some seasonal weakness ahead of us. So again, could just be a bit of chop here, have a nice rally for a day or two, get above the 50-day moving average. The NASDAQ will actually get above the 50-day moving average today. But then we get above the 50-day and then kind of chop along sideways along that moving average for a couple of weeks. And then sets that, that'll potentially set us up for that October, November, December rally into the end of the year, which should theoretically take us to a new high for this year. Not, not, not necessarily all-time highs, but potentially new highs for this year. Uh, again, lots of performance chasing that will happen at the end of the year. See a lot of people pile into stocks trying to catch up with markets. And again, there's a bit of big bifurcation um, continues between, you know, you take a look at what's going on with the S&P 500. As an example, big bifurcation between that and what's happening in, in other indexes. I mean, if you take a look at small cap, mid cap, just continually not really making much of an advance here. In fact, if you take, you know, going back and kind of looking at small and mid cap over a longer period time frame, just really has not participated much at all. So really a very concentrated rally in the overall markets. So again, kind of keep your concentration in large caps for now because, well, that's what's working. That's where money's going. So we just have to stay concentrated there for right now. Again, technology stocks overvalued relative to the rest of the markets. No surprise there. But again, it's passive flows still pushing a lot of this into the markets. Again, NVIDIA is going to be the big story for the day. That's going to what will be driving markets. Um, and again, that's what every, the focus will be on the entire day. <laughs> it will just simply be that. For right now, maintain your allocations, maintain your risk controls. Uh, we're still in two months of kind of the seasonal weakness. Um, and again, we'll get a little bit better look once we start to get into a buy signal mode and, and potentially start to push back up towards this year's highs in the S&P 500. That's what you need to know before the bell this morning.